According to the FDA, more than 3 million middle and high school students currently use tobacco products, and more than one in four students use e-cigarettes every day. Community Health Partners pediatric pulmonologist Dr. Hovig Artinian talks about the impact of vaping on teenagers and young adults and steps they can take today to create a healthier tomorrow. They're actually battery powered ways to deliver any number of uh, various drugs into somebody's body. Vaping is the inhaling of vapor created by an electronic cigarette, most commonly known as e-cigarettes. Anytime you're essentially combusting a product and inhaling it, you are exposing your lung to essentially what we call radicals. And these are things that go to your cells in the lungs and damage them. And the more and repeated times that you damage your lungs, the increased chance that eventually your cells will become so damaged that it can increase the risk that they become dysfunctional. And that's how you then lead to a cancer diagnosis. It's become very clear that these are very dangerous products. It may be safer than a traditional cigarette, but it is not safe. You are essentially giving up one set of risks and taking up a whole different set of risks by using these products. Health risks associated with vaping can be anxiety, depression, and even life-threatening lung damage. Very acutely, it can be nausea, it can be vomiting. Also, we've seen the emergence in the last few years of something called e which is essentially the electronic cigarette-associated lung injury. Dr. Artinian says learning about vaping and talking to your loved ones can help make a difference in encouraging a healthier lifestyle. It's never too late to quit smoking. It's never too long far gone. And what we've seen is that traditionally about three to five years after you quit smoking, your risk of having some sort of lung cancer or other pathology is decreased by 80 to 90%. It's never considered effective to shame a teenager for using these products and try to make them feel bad about it. We have to be their partner in quitting the product. First thing is identifying when you're ready to quit. So if you're at a point where you no longer feel that using this product is giving you joy and it is not enhancing your life, then it's time to start thinking about how you quit. And there are multiple ways to do that. Having a resource in place who's gonna be your cheerleader is always a helpful way to be successful in quitting. And then using the resources that exist. There are prescription drugs that we can offer as your physician so that you can successfully quit and we can replace those severe cravings that you have from the product as you're coming off of it so that you're not enticed to return to the product as strongly.